I'm here with Caroline Trubeskoy, who's the new president of the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association, and Travel Association. Congratulations. Uh, everybody seems to be so happy that uh, you're on board and having uh, our little chat during breakfast, uh, I thought we'd catch up so you can, you can share what we talked about, your plans, your ideas, with our audience. Certainly. Well, first of all, um, I'm a citizen of St. Lucia and have been involved in uh, uh, marketing the destination um, in St. Lucia for over 30 years. Uh, for mostly, however, I, I do consider myself a citizen of the Caribbean. And um, with my work in St. Lucia as president of the St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association, I saw the potential what can happen when all the islands and countries of the Caribbean come together under one umbrella as one group to tackle some of the issues that concern us as a region. Um, there are quite a few. Um, just, I, um, <laughs> I wish there weren't that many, but uh, from our high cost of operations to the, the high cost of our airlift, the lack of airlift, our issues with intra-regional travel. Um, I mean, we would all like to visit each other a lot more if we had better airline connections um, in between the islands. Um, with issues of um, taxation generally, uh, issues of sustainability, and above all, um, the great opportunity if we work together to come up with uh, human resource training programs and also entrepreneurship programs to ensure that uh, the benefits of tourism really reach all of our communities. Many, several of these that you mentioned are already in motion, aren't they? on an on a island by island, island basis and also at the moment you will see that our public sector um, uh, uh, partner, uh, the Caribbean Tourism Organization, runs their own programs and um, the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association also has their own programs. So uh, with some of these issues it really makes sense that the public and private sector combine their efforts to be even more I effective. See. And I think that is one of the uh, most exciting developments that I see in speaking to the public sector stakeholders that everybody realizes the time has come for the, our private sector and the public sectors to come closer together to tackle um, all of these issues together and also to really grip all the opportunities we see there to further enhance our beautiful islands and make them even more attractive to our visitors. In some ways, uh, you're kind of lucky because you're coming in at a time when most have uh, passed the financial crisis caused by the recession and, uh, and can focus in the future, you know, rather than worrying at the light at the tunnel is, is uh, it's like train or something. Yes, yes. Uh, and I get that feeling at this gathering. The mood is good and positive. Um, we get good feedback from all of our different islands. Um, there is new capital investment, um, more airlift in some instances. So um, things are looking up for sure. The um, Speaking of St. Lucia a little bit and about your properties, uh, could you uh, tell us, uh, you, you, you and your husband, Yes, we have owned uh, two properties there for, for many years. Um, it started with our company called Anne's Chastanay that my husband bought, um, I don't even want to say it, in 1974. So uh, if you have ever heard of the book Don't Stop the Carnival by Herman Walk, I, I keep thinking we are like part of this generation that really put their last cent into a development because we had the passion and felt like the pioneers that wanted to showcase a beautiful location to visitors. Um, our Shastanay to this date is really a very authentic Caribbean experience. We have practiced um, sustainability there long before it became almost like a fashionable term. Uh, we have made sure from the very beginning that we purchase as much as possible locally. Um, just to give you one example, um, we have now been in operation since 74. It's a 49 room hotel sitting on a 600 acre estate with two beaches. We are known for great romance. We have a very good honeymoon uh, segment uh, among our guests as well as scuba diving is, is a great activity at our property. In uh, 2006, we opened a second property called Shade Mountain. My husband is an architect by profession. He 
designed and built Chain Mountain and uh, it is um, a very very interesting property very futuristic um, it is being hailed as the new the new Caribbean and uh, it certainly has had great success and has won a great many awards so very proud of it well when the Mandarin no 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 when the um, the, the hotel in Singapore uh, the Marina Sands opened with its classic pool up on the top floor that that Photoshop was all over the world but I'm surprised at Jade Mountain uh, because it is totally amazing what your husband did uh, Absolutely. yeah uh, uh, in the mountains and, exactly. and tiered with um, with over 25 infinity pools yeah it's an amazing um, work um, architectural piece um, especially the structure of course that you have these infinity pools suspended in the air all of the sanctuaries are open walled so you're always one in one with nature and see our beautiful Pito mountains yeah it, it fascinated me when I visited uh, and anybody everybody should visit uh, look at the shots at jademountain.com that's and, very kind of you. And also the um, Anse Chastanet, which is uh, A-N-S-E-C-H-A-S-T-A-N-E-T.com. And if I recall, at least during my visit, we arrived by a boat. You can come both by car boat. and boat, but mm -hmm. um, it's really nice to arrive by boat. Also, we have a private helipad, so of course, it's very safe spot to ride by helicopter. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.